Atlanta is known for being hot, on fire, even. As a decisive final blow to the southern states during the American Civil War, General William Tecumseh Sherman burned much of the city to the ground in 1864 in his infamous March to the Sea. The city has been like the phoenix that rose from the ashes since, as the metro area now is home to more than 5 million residents, the world's busiest international airport, a thriving culinary scene, tributes to hometown hero and civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr., a burgeoning film business, world-class shopping, and so much more. Here are the top 10 things to do in Atlanta. Atlanta Beltline what started as an idea for a Georgia Tech graduate thesis has become one of Atlanta's best-loved outdoor attractions. Atlanta was once called Terminus because of the railroads that converged in the city before the Civil War, and this project repurposes the historic 22-mile railway loop around the downtown area into a multi-use paved path lined with native plants and art installations. While only the East Side Trail is fully complete, the other sections are hike-able. When it's finished, projected to be in 2030, it will reconnect 45 in-town neighborhoods, including 33 miles of multi-use trails and 2,000 acres of parks, becoming one of the largest, most wide-ranging urban redevelopment programs in the United States. Atlanta Street Art Tour You'll be guiding yourself on this exploration, just visit the Atlanta Street Art map and choose which of the seven tours you want to explore, then strike out on your own. Each tour, including the Atlanta Beltline Eastside Trail, Cabbage Town, Edgewood Avenue, Downtown, East Atlanta, Little Five Points, and the Pittsburgh neighborhood, has its own flavor. The most striking thing about the breadth of Atlanta's street art in town is its diversity, from the life like John Lewis, hero, mural by the Loss Prevention Artists Collective to the bright contour drawings by Brazilian artist Yo-Yo Ferro. The Rooftop at Hotel Claremont Hotel Claremont, a former motor lodge, is one of Atlanta's buzziest new boutique hotels. Ride the elevator to the fifth floor and you'll find yourself at the rooftop, a retro astroturf paradise with outdoor furniture, string lights, and lawn games, cornhole, anyone, all against a backdrop of skyline views. The cocktails are mostly tiki-inspired, flavors like cherry, coconut, pineapple, and spicy phalernum are used to create boozy drinks, including a frozen option or two. Beer drinkers will find a few local brews. World of Coca-Cola Coca-Cola was invented in downtown Atlanta by pharmacist John S. Pemberton in 1886, and this is the brand's temple, a 92,000-square-foot interactive museum that's drawn more than 25 million caffeine-seeking visitors since 1990. Its most memorable elements? In the 4D theater, you'll feel like you're riding through a Coke-themed world, with fizzy bubbles popping against your skin, you can also test your strength on an old-fashioned manual bottling machine tougher than it sounds, it takes more than 700 pounds of pressure to cap one bottle. And, of course, there's a tasting room where you can try more than 100 Coca-Cola sodas from around the world. The Shops Buckhead Atlanta Atlanta's been a shopping destination in the South for decades, but the 2014 opening of the Shops Buckhead Atlanta further cemented the reputation. The outdoor complex, which covers six city blocks in Atlanta's highest-end neighborhood, seriously, the governor's mansion is just a few minutes' walk away, is so beautifully manicured with leafy trees strung with twinkle lights, colorful planter boxes, and ambient music piped in, it feels like it could have been a set for a scene in The Stepford Wives. The walkable plaza and connecting side streets feature a mix of ultra-high-end stores like Hermes, Jimmy Choo, Dior, Tom Ford, and Etro, and some more approachable brands like Cuz, Warby Parker, and Nars Cosmetics. Those seeking Atlanta-based concepts will want to visit Luna, a curated women's boutique, and Bella Cucina, a brand started in 1993 with Italian-inspired artisan culinary products. Jimmy Carter Presidential Library and Museum Although the Jimmy Carter Presidential Library and Museum opened in 1986, the modernist structure still feels contemporary today. With 24,000 square feet of museum space, this is a celebration of former U.S. President and Georgia native Jimmy Carter on a grand scale. Far from being a staid and strictly academic, the museum offers interactive exhibits that explore Carter's life before, during, and after his time in the Oval Office. His Nobel Peace Prize medal is on display, and there's also some 4,000 square feet reserved for temporary exhibits. 
the Center for Civil and Human Rights. This downtown attraction, opened in 2014, celebrates the American Civil Rights Movement and the Global Human Rights Movement. The airy, modern building was designed to inspire positive action with lofty architectural elements like a clear glass front and two bold, curved walls. Conceived by global design firm HOK, the architects in charge said they were inspired by Washington, D.C.'s National Mall, Cairo's Tahrir Square, and Beijing's Tiananmen Square. Inside, the museum includes three levels of galleries and event halls, a walk through the exhibit on American civil rights starts in the 1950s, illustrating the impact of Jim Crow laws and legalized racism in America. It explores communities' fights for equality and raises questions about the systems Americans have yet to challenge. Lee's Bakery if Atlanta is the cultural capital of the New South, as Marion Liu, founder of We Love Buhai, is fond of saying, then, Buford Highway is its multicultural heart. It's true, along this bustling street, you'll find every manner of international cuisine, including Vietnamese, Peruvian, Chinese, Malaysian, Korean, Cuban, and Mexican. Every trip is like a foodie treasure hunt, but there's more to explore than just eats, foot massage spas, farmers markets, and imported shopping also abound on this stretch of asphalt. Fox Theater The Fox Theater is easily the grandest entertainment venue in Atlanta, and a visit feels like you're traveling back in time to the golden age of theater and movies. Built in 1929, the theater was originally part of a Shriners temple, and Islamic architectural details are a major focus, you can't miss the onion dome atop the building, and inside you'll find ornately patterned carpets, gilded accents, and a sky studded with flickering crystal stars. It all sets the stage for old world glamour. Georgia Aquarium Read any list of must-visit Atlanta attractions, and the Georgia Aquarium is somewhere at the top, and rightly so. This living museum, which opened in 2005, is the largest indoor aquarium in the Western Hemisphere, with more than 10 million gallons of fresh and salt water. The massive structure is home to more than 100,000 creatures and has 100 distinct habitats for wildlife, including whale sharks, sea lions, bottlenose dolphins, belugas, manta rays, penguins, and more. It's also home to a teaching hospital for aspiring marine biologists and vets.